Hello everyone, my name is Inez and welcome to today's video. I want to share with you what the Lord is saying at this time for the next coming months this year in, and so on in Jesus' name. So let's pray. So Holy Spirit, I ask you to come right now and take over every single word and speak through me to your sons and daughters in Jesus' name. Amen. So I bless you and welcome and I hope you're having a great January. Never mind what the enemy has been doing. Don't even look at the distractions or the things that he is doing around the world or around you. Okay, you keep focused on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is what the Lord is saying. So this year in 2019, it's the year of flourishing. It's the year of transition, stepping into destiny and um, things unfolding, prophetic words beginning to unfold, resurrection life just happening to the words that were given to you for a long, long time. Uh, new jobs, locations, you know, they're already starting. OK, so um, God is doing great things at this time. And um, this is what the Lord is saying. He is saying it's a time of favor. It's a time of his grace. He's extending his hand of grace, you know, um, because God loves to bless his children. He loves to bless his sons and daughters. He loves to surprise you. OK, so God has even been doing that with me lately. He has just been shocking me with just little blessings to the point where I have been speechless. And you just know that it's God because, you know, when you delight yourself in the Lord, he loves to bless you with the desires of your heart and probably things that people don't even know that you like or um, that you want, you know. But Jesus knows everything. He knows what you like. He, he knows what you don't like. He knows everything about you, okay. So he, he loves you so much because God is love. So what God is saying at this time is he wants his sons and daughters to love each other, okay. Jesus said you will know them. For their love for one another. Not for them fighting each other. Not for churches fighting each other. Or ministers fighting other ministers. Or tearing each other down. Or hurting each other. Or making one another stumble. He wants us to love each other. To work together. To lift each other. Encourage each other. Support each other. Not trashing each other with words. Or, or bashing people. Okay. So he wants us to be praying for each other. And helping each other. And loving each other. Okay. So that's really important. So what Jesus Christ is doing as well is I kept hearing in my spirit Boaz, Boaz, and he is bringing, this is what God is saying, okay? He does not want you to be crying after him saying, you know, I, I want a husband, I want a wife, I want a husband, I want a wife. And just being so focused on that to the point that you've just taken your eyes off God and you're focused on is it this person, is it this person? He already knows the person who he has for you. But first of all, he wants you to be content in him. He wants you to just be living your life, doing what he's called you to do. And at the right time, he is going to bring this person along. And what the Lord has been saying to me is that some of you, you have already met this person who God has for you to marry. And he's just, he's kind of um, put blinders there that you haven't actually seen each other. That that love um, hasn't been there yet towards this other person because it's it's not the right time. Like it's not, you weren't ready yet. He was doing the work in their heart and the work in your heart. But if you're still waiting on this person, don't forget it's all about the heart. He's getting this person ready. It's not that God ever says no. God is just doing the work in the background. But you just have to believe that. So you have to be content in Jesus, walking in him. Don't be making anything an idol. Okay, so put God first in Jesus name. So also about um, marriages. God doesn't want us sleeping around. God doesn't want us living with someone and 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 sleeping with each other, cohabiting, you know, and just um um doing these things. He wants us to be getting married. So he's putting that in people's hearts. Hey, why not get married? You know, because that's what God wants to do. Okay. So in First Thessalonians four three, for this is the will of God, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and in honour. So you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. OK, so just remember that the spirit of God, if you have Jesus Christ in your heart, if you are a born again Christian, if you are following Jesus, you know, he wants you to be obedient to him. 
And when you delight yourself in the Lord, he gives you the desires of your heart. OK, so, yeah. And if you're believing for the right person, you just continue to believe for this and you pray for that person. You pray for your heart to be right as well. And at the right time, this person is going to come along. OK, so God doesn't want us fighting with our brothers and sisters. He doesn't want us lusting after someone. There is a massive, massive difference between love and lust. God is a God of love. God is also bringing romance into relationships. A new, that new fire. I've been saying this for a while because God is doing it. Okay, so continue praying. Don't ever, um, once we start doubting and start not believing, okay, I don't see it in my husband or wife yet, or this is not happening. That's called doubt and unbelief. Okay, you have to have faith. So to please God, you have to have faith. So you're standing there saying, I'm believing this for my marriage or for my husband or my wife. OK, so he's bringing romance and he's bringing communication, you know, talking again, being friends and um, having fun together. OK, you know, God wants you to have fun. He likes that, you know, and some religious spirits don't like that. You know, they want you just to be, you know, and uh. so God wants us to be happy and he wants us to have fun as well. But he's also restoring um, wounded um, friendships, families, uh, where the enemy has come in and he has caused division and separation. But God has been doing this for a long time. So like I said, even if you're not seeing it yet, you have to believe that God is doing this work, okay? Because he is doing it. And he is healing the hearts and he is healing the souls and he's healing the minds, okay? So continue praying for your loved ones and for your marriage okay because it's, it's happening okay god is doing it and don't forget um with your brothers and sisters it doesn't matter who it is or if you're in a ministry you know god is not into the whole bickering and the fighting thing and the competing and the jealousy and the finger pointing and tearing down god does not do that okay so this is what god is saying in first john chapter 2 9 he that says he is in the light and he hates his brother is in darkness even until now he that loves his brother abides in the light there's no occasion of him stumbling okay so come away from all that gossip come away from all that um tell and finger pointing and tearing your brother and sister down because that is not of god stay away from all that negativity and that darkness okay because you don't want to be missing what god wants to do in this season okay so he wants to bless you he's extending his hand of favor okay uh to you so in first corinthians 13 4 love is patient love is kind it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it's not self-seeking. It's not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices in the truth. It protects, it always trusts, it always hopes, it always perseveres. Okay, so this is what God wants us to do. He wants you to learn to love. He wants you to look at people with his eyes. So God doesn't sit there and, and bash this person over here or tear this person down. He wants you to love and that includes people in your family. Okay, you have to love people in your family. Everybody's different. Your personality is different to mine. That minister is different to me. I'm different to them. So don't be criticizing. Don't be finger pointing. None of this. Okay. So what God has been saying, uh, he brought um, Naomi and Ruth as well to me. This um, scripture where um, Oprah was uh, kissing her mother-in-law um, to leave, okay, Naomi. But Ruth wanted to stay with Naomi. Now remember, um, Naomi's husband died and she was moving on and everybody was going away. But Ruth said um, that she wanted, if you want to read there in Force Ruth in 14 downwards, okay. So it's all about... Um, the respect and the honour that Ruth had for Naomi. So this is what God has been saying in the spirit. He is saying that he is bringing love. He is bringing that respect and that honour um, where it's due. Okay, so he's putting that in people, not only in ministry, but in families and just in places, respect and honour and being kind and supporting each other, helping each other, being there, you know, helping someone to the next step, you know, helping someone where they need it. Okay, that love and support, that's how you know someone is from God, you know, and they're not ripping you apart, but they're actually helping you. And there's that love, that respect, you know, and just even being thankful 
Remember Jesus with the, the lepers and he healed them. And the whole lot of them walked off and just one, just one turned back and said, thank you, praise the Lord, thank you. You know, that goes a long way when you say these things to people or if you open a door. I know that sounds a little bit and you want all these scriptures, you know, but this is what God wants. That's respect and that's honour and valuing people as well. You know, because I'm not like you, you're not like me. I look different to you, you look different to me. I still have to respect and honour you, okay? And, and just be nice, you know. And, and as Christians, you know, be nice to each other. Be kind, okay? And um, just compliment someone even, you know. And um, buy little gifts and, and, and just be nice to people you know and even people who are not lovable you know that's how you you let your fruit your your light shine okay when you love the unlovable or even an angry person or something who you know who lives around you or something like that and just buy them a little gift or just say hi be nice you know that is god coming out of you okay so that's that's really important so what Jesus is saying is Jesus is the bridegroom and you're the bride and he loves his bride so much and he died for you and he loves you so deeply and he wants to bless you but he is calling you and he is wooing you. You know that he's always coming after you. You know and um yeah he's drawing you closer. This is what I'm I'm hearing in the spirit is come closer. Come closer to me. So in Jeremiah 29, 12, draw near to me, call upon me. You shall go and pray to me. I will hear you and you shall seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Go into your room, go into where you live and just sit down just for a few minutes and just love on Jesus. He wants you to come into his presence and just love on him and sit with him. And I worship you, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I thank you, God. Thank you for where I am right now. Thank you for our life, God. Thank you for the people in my life, God. You know, and just being thankful to God, you know, is, is everything. Just be thankful, you know. Sometimes we're like, bless me, bless me, bless me. Give me a word, give me a word, give me a word now. And he's just like, just sit with me. Just spend time. You know, spend time in my word. Let let my word just dwell in you richly in your spirit. Not just like I've read two two verses there. You know, let the word of God dwell in you, okay? And just that time with God is is everything. And then in Solomon's song, um, chapter two thirteen, arise, my love, and come away, my fair one. God is wooing you. He's like, come on, just just spend time with me and in chapter 7 10 i am my beloved's and his desire is towards me oh he loves you so much we probably won't even know how much he loves us until we stand before him in jesus name thank you lord for your love and then in esther 5 uh, the king said to esther the queen standing in the court that she obtained favor in his sight and the king held out the golden scepter that was in his hand so esther drew near and she touched the top of the scepter and then the king said what is your request it shall be given to you of half the kingdom so what god is saying at this time is just come to me what is it you want me to do for you do you believe can you receive it so when you ask me this certain thing you just say lord i receive it and i believe it once it's in god's will Okay, so if you look at someone else's husband or someone else's wife and saying, I want them, I want them. That's probably not God's will, okay? So you know what I mean, all right? So when you come to him and when you're asking for, for the desire of your heart, you know, and you're believing and you're saying, Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you love me so much. I receive it, Lord, and I'm just going to wait on you, God. Just whenever it is, Lord, I just receive it in Jesus' name. OK, so that's how God loves us. God is bringing the right person for you. He is bringing the person who you are going to marry. Um, he has been preparing hearts. He is restoring families. Uh, he has been doing great things these last couple of months. And this year, this year is just going to be so great. I'm telling you, it's just but keep your eyes focused on God, not on all the bad things that are going on around the world but continue to pray for your brothers and sisters continue to pray and to share the lord with other people okay because at this time your light needs to shine people want to see the love of god people need to feel love people need to be embraced 
Okay, so if you're a son and daughter of God Almighty, King of Israel, go and love people. Buy little gifts for people. Be nice, okay? Share the love of God with other people. Share um, Jesus Christ with, with people. Tell him that he is light. Tell him that he is love. That he is the one they need. And the void that's there will be gone once they ask Jesus Christ into their heart. And they totally surrender to him. Okay, so just be expectant at this time. Because... God is doing amazing things, so I receive it. Do you receive it? So, Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for this word. We thank you, God, that you are love. We thank you, Lord God, um, that you are doing an amazing work in your sons and daughters, that you're healing hearts, you're healing wounds, Lord, uh, that you're saving the lost, Jesus, that you don't want anyone to perish, Lord but to believe in you and have everlasting life, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that you love us deeply and that you're going to bless us and surprise us, Lord. We just receive your love right now. In Jesus' name, we love you, God Almighty. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I just feel the presence of God now so strong. We love you, Lord. So have a great day and go and love on someone. In Jesus' name, God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.